I'm trying something a little bit different. I don't know if this is going to work. I might wake the whole house up. If I do, this will be the last one from inside the apartment. I'm already feeling slightly conscious. It, it's probably too loud. But anyway, there's big thick doors where we're standing in this apartment. So I'm sort of hoping that I don't wake up all the girls. I don't wake up our guests. I'm probably going to do exactly that. If I do tomorrow, there might be less Insta again, but there'll be a Facebook, you know, so anyone watching this on Instagram, I've been living every single day just on Facebook. Um, but equally, I thought it's nice to come back. Loads of people have been getting in touch with me saying, where are you on Instagram? We need a bit of live action. So here I am doing the double again, but at YouTube, I've got it through my computer thing with my camera thing. I think it's all working. Fab. Cool, 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 cool. It's Friday. I'm forgetting it's Friday. Get in there, Friday. What about that? Friday in Ireland. What could be better? Morning, Insta gang. There he is, Matt Ellis. Marie, evening from lockdown in Sydney. Look at the what a global audience we have. I just think this is the coolest thing ever. And that, in many ways, is going to be the topic of today's little talk. There's Angash. Like, talk about proud moments, right? So this is what I want to know in the comments. What's been your proudest moment? If you've taken a break from alcohol, what's been your proudest moment so far? Or if you're on this self-development adventure, what's been your proudest moment so far? I've had so many. I feel so incredibly blessed and lucky and grateful that literally that they're happening to me sort of every other day at the moment from just recently we had our first sort of official unofficial get together with our mind body gym which is our ongoing self-development community which i'm so incredibly proud of that was amazing then we run the first ever zone one health and longevity formula virtual workshop in-person workshop so i got to train and meet and be around many 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 of you again tick massively proud moment tick books and all the other stuff and then last night we had a get together for our latest group of Arate Way adventurers that trained with us on the 28 day online live Arate Way adventure. Don't forget, by the way, if you want to sign up to the next one, which is in September, starts September the 6th, it's the last one I'm going to run for the year for a whole like month of goodness. It's like, if you're into self development, you know, I'm so, I'm really proud of that course. Get on it and you get the early bird. Um, of the free Let's Do This Masterclass, which is like tons of videos, tons of learning for free, early bird before the 8th. Don't know what the date is. If it's before the 8th, you get it for free. So don't forget, check that out if you haven't done so already. I know many of you have. Also, on that note, it's, it's newsletter day today. So make sure if you haven't registered for the newsletter, that's how you do it. Register, register or register. You can register or register. It's up to you. Register for the newsletter and you get the updates and whatnot. And that's going to start to sort of take off in a big way. When Steph gets back from holiday, she's going to help me turn that into something a bit more. Oh, there's Steph. Talking of the wonderful Steph. There she is. So, this is what happened. And I want you to think about those amazing moments that have happened to you along the way. Feel grateful for those moments that have happened along the way. That's what this is about. It's not all about just charge, charge, charge. You've got to slow down. I was talking about this Earlier in the week when you learn to recover like an athlete, it's the same thing. You have to stop, pause and feel grateful for how far you've come. And feel proud of those little moments maybe that have accumulated into these big moments in your life. And just to savour it, to share it, to reflect upon it. And last night was one of those really beautiful moments we had a get together for our latest group of Arate Way Adventurers, as I just mentioned, in our Mind and Body Gym, which is where you can migrate once you've done that course into our ongoing self-development platform. Anyway, we got into a room and two, three, four of the existing Mind Body Gym members just spoke about what they loved about the Mind Body Gym to welcome in our new members. And I was just sitting there listening to this because the wonderful Jill Grahams hosted the event. I was just like quickly saying hello in between going to restaurants with family and friends. And to hear the wonderful stories being told, to hear like the group, how it connected and the difference that it was making in people's lives. I was just sitting back going, oh my God, I just feel just so lucky and grateful and fortunate. One, to be a part of such a beautiful group. And two, I guess to sort of set it up because that's what I wanted. You know, I wanted something like that. I craved something like that and I couldn't find it in the real world. That was the genesis 
of one you know beer in truth because i was like hold on a minute there's there's no one there's nothing i couldn't find anything you know seven eight years ago that was like that that i could get to in the same room with people to connect with people so i thought do you know what i'll do i create myself then it becomes much easier and then make these communities and whatnot and i will be coming back into the alcohol free space in a big way pretty soon and equally training coaches which is one of my favorite things now which makes me incredibly proud that our Arote coaches are like well into their coaching journey training with us to become accredited coaches there will be a new co cohort just two groups so it's going to go super quickly the mind body gym members will get the first look at it um starting in january if you want to train with me to become a world-class coach double accredited coach should you wish that is coming down the line again more reason to get onto the newsletter if you're interested in that stuff because you'll get the heads up as it comes in but anyway so back to the major point about this alcohol free adventure right none of this exists in my life had i still been drinking but isn't that sad just imagine that just pause on that for a second that's just that's my story i know it might not be yours but that's certainly my story had i still been drinking none of those moments live in my life none of them isn't that amazing i probably and i know i always say this and, I, and i've got to keep reaffirming this but it's true i think i'd probably be one of those that was really sick and unhappy right now if i was still here if i hadn't killed over from a life of mer and stress and overwork and overwhelm and too much boozing and training in the wrong ways that would have taken my heart to a place that it might never have recovered from right that was my destiny i think it was well mapped out for me the destiny of too many people but i chose a different path i found the courage to do something different eight nine ten years ago really when this adventure started the courage to do something different because it takes a ton of courage to turn around and walk the other way when the mass the, the group the herd are all going one way to find the courage that one lone soldier because it is a solo mission don't forget to turn around and walk the other way that takes an unbelievable amount of courage that's why i salute you all that's why i come in here every day to cheer you on and champion you all because i think you're bloody heroes in my eyes totally heroes it takes so much courage to do that most people haven't they have to hide in the group where it's safe and the group at the moment are all boozing and the group at the moment are all tripping themselves up in my opinion they're not developing themselves they're following that mindless path towards a five out of ten this right and there's nothing wrong with that i'm not saying whether it's right or wrong i'm just saying that's unfortunately the path of too many people because there is no awareness right but where there's awareness comes the ability to change that is where we're all different on this adventure if you've ever listened to me bang on about this stuff once you'll know you're thinking differently already isn't it beautiful and from that one change for me that one change unlocked everything else all of those proud moments that i just spoke about there every single one of them was generated from that one moment of courage which was to take a break from alcohol and when i say one moment it wasn't one moment as in i made a decision and then it happened it was probably about two years of wrestling with that slip ups failures stumbles fumbles blips whatever you want to call them departures from the proverbial my story was a messy one it was certainly not a perfect one and it will never be perfect there's another thing just to get our heads around this is not about being perfect it's about being authentic and showing up and do you know what it goes pear-shaped i get stuff wrong all the time i sent an email yesterday to say perfect and i spelt it prefect right what a brilliant example of imperfection right there the word perfect i can't even spell it spelt it wrong in the, the headline of an email prefect what's that like talk about being imperfect right there prefect i can't even spell can't but so what does it matter if you've got something to say it doesn't matter whether you can spell or not as far as i'm concerned and i've written managed to write two books and i've got another one on the way and i still can't spell but it doesn't matter because there's something to say and all of that stuff has only happened because of one thing well two things actually I, I, yeah that's unfair to say it's just one thing the first was that self-development adventure that kick-started the awareness around alcohol but then it was alcohol that gave me the confidence the mojo the momentum the time the energy the oomph for life that i needed to unlock all the other bits and then that m momentum started in my life that smile come back that brightness come back isn't that beautiful and then all those proud moments started to follow one after the other after the other i could list hundreds of them that wouldn't have happened had i still been drinking and that's sad stuck doing the same stuff telling the same stories moaning about the same things 
telling those big dreams that melt away the following day, those plastic dreams, that plastic meaning that just melts the morning after and leaves that anxiety in its place. Jog on, zero interest. Now it's all about the fun side of the island, right? And having the crack and having the banter and maximizing this one wild, short and precious life while making a difference. Isn't that beautiful? Do we get to do that from that one thing? That is why this is so much bigger than just taking a break from the booze or developing yourself. It is a 10 times bigger than that. It's, it's 100 times bigger than that. It's a 1,000 times bigger than that. Magnify it by a million because what happens is then that radiates out to the people that you love, right? Isn't that the most greatest gift ever? Talk about feeling proud. I'm sure many of you are talking about that. The biggest, proudest moments are helping others, always are, whether that's to help a loved one or that's to help someone else through your actions, through your courage. And that's exactly what's happening now. Whether you're developing yourself or you're alcohol free or both, it's the same stuff. You're radiating out that goodness. You're like a ginger beacon of positive change in your networks and in your families, right? Isn't that something to be proud about on a Friday? A Friday even. That's why we're on the fun side of the island. Loving life. I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited right now. What is the title of my next book? The title of my next book is I Don't Know, but it will be about coaching and the power of learning to coach, because that's why I'm here, um, in developing not only other people, which is the greatest gift ever, but also in developing yourself. Coaching for me is the outlet. It's the vehicle to all this good stuff. It's why I'm here. I think it's an unbelievably important skill for everyone to learn. And a big chunk of what I'll be doing going forward will be training coaches with me, like someone that's done it and, and doing it, which is really rare because in the coaching circles, what I found is you can only really train with people that have never really been coaches. They want to train you to do something they've ever done. But as you can see, I do it and I want to share that with people. And the cohorts we've got at the moment have just inspired me beyond belief because they're blooming amazing. And we create loads of initiatives to help get them out into the world so collectively we can join Right, and move the needle in a big way in whatever space that is because it doesn't matter whether that's alcohol free self-development whether that's menopause whether that's tinnitus doesn't matter there's a niche for everyone and we can collectively help people reach their full potential that's a beautiful thing that is my mission going forward to inspire many other people to do what i do exactly this get out there do the lives do the coaching run the courses inspire loads of people in your network wouldn't that be beautiful that is what i'll be doing you to count me in on the next coaching course. Will you to your anyone that's a part of the Mind Body Gym or on the Arate Way course, by the way, that have trained with me live will get first look at it. And I'm only probably going to run two cohorts. It's going to be relatively small again, a niche. So yeah, if you're interested in that, get onto the next Arate Way adventure because that will give you you'll get in the mixer a bit earlier. Is what I'm saying. Hold on. There's you. Yeah, you you'll be amazing. Ginger Beacon says Utah. So Yuta's from Germany and was talking about this last night and has to sort of get used to all our colloquialisms, as it were, and me even using rhyming slang. I've got a beautiful lady that's in our group. And when I start talking about things like my Barnet, I have to put Janet, Barnet equals Barnet Fair, rhyming slang for hair. Just you've got to think about these things when you've got a community that's global and you're throwing in your little company rhyming slangs. What course do you run, Andy? Oh, so I run, it's called the Arate Way course. If you go to andyramans.com, you can click on courses and you'll see it there. It's a 28 day online live course. You just train with me for 28 days in a group of the most amazing people. I love it. It's my favorite thing that I do. All the courses, all the coaching, training coaches, that's what I do, that's what I love doing. It's a beautiful thing. Janet Rocks. Yes, yeah, so just go to andyramans.com and you can check it out or aratewaycom A-R-E-T-E way.com. Fab. There he is, Matt Pink, better life guy, talking about community, talking about being proud. M Matt Pink on the 8th of Sep, pretty sure it's the 8th, hopefully I haven't got that wrong, correct me if I haven't. It's got the No Booze Cruise, I will be there, giving it a bit of that action. On the dance floor, kitchen, oh there's Kay, how you doing Kay? He's back, I know, you inspired me Matt yesterday, I thought I've got to get the Insta back up, loads of people have been on saying where are you on Insta, 18th of Sep. It's the 18th of Sep. We've got the No Booze Cruise. I knew there was an eight in it. There's Gemma. Sober holiday today. Woken up fresh and ready to go. Instead of hungover and frantically packing this morning. Not a big deal. Too many, but huge for me. 
Yeah, not a big deal to many, but huge for me. Exactly. What a difference that makes. What a different world it is when you've got to like move between places, pack cases, travel, and you do it without a hangover. Doesn't life feel a bit different? Isn't that beautiful? It's getting a bit bright. Sun's out. Let me just turn this around. I can't do it on the Facebooker. Look at that for a view, by the way. On my little Instagram, you can't see it on Facebook, I'm afraid, but the Instagrammers have got like the reverse view. That is pretty cool, isn't it? That's what I've been looking at since five o'clock this morning. Up and on it, tip tapping away, writing the next book, which will be out soon. But anyway, oh, there's Kay. I'll be seeing the wonderful Kay very soon. Let's have a look. Wendy, so many proud moments. I'd say one of my best was recognizing that I no longer cared what others think of my lifestyle choices. If it's in line with my authentic self, they can think what they like. It's so true. Because then you're coming from that place of value. You're aligned with your purpose and your mission and what's important to you. That's all you can do, right? That's the best place to stand. And if people don't resonate or like that, so what? then they're not aligned with who you are. The worst place you can stand is pretending to be someone you're not and you still end up in the same situation anyway. So you might as well just be you. Yeah, it's so cool. My box of Unlimited arrived yesterday. I love that. Oh, 18th of Sept. Thank you, Lisa, for pointing that out as well. Ashley, day five, proud moment. I made it to the gym yesterday. Even better, I made it out alive. That's a double win right there. Double win for Ashley to the gym and survived. Hold on. Arate Wakehorse. Oh, let's go up here. Release. He's easy to listen to. Oh, I don't know. Right. Hold on. This is what happens. See, on the Facebook, I, I can, I just, if so, if you're having like these conversations, I, I'm in there, like reading it out, going, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's just go back up here. Right. I need to listen to you all day, Andy. You are talking total sense and very inspiring. Ah, oh, thank you, Claire. I cannot believe I did six months and then fell off. Now I'm getting my ducks in a row, ready to start back afresh this Sunday. I need to get back on the fun side of the island. Come on, Claire. But why wait? Why wait another day, one more day to start? Why not start now? Just saying, just saying. Jane, morning, day 749. Go on, Jane. I'm thankful. To myself, each day I wouldn't be running my own business if I was still drinking. So true. I totally agree with that. That's for sure. I've come so far and so much to look forward to and to create. I totally agree. I think stopping drinking is one of the most creative things that you can do. All of that creative like juice just appears, which is the opposite of the mythology that says you need alcohol to be creative. What a load of rubbish. One of the most creative things you can do, I think, is stop drinking. And it just gives you all this clarity to do stuff, whether that's to create new businesses, whether that's to write or read. It's a beautiful creative experience. Oh, the sun is out in a big way. I wish I could. I'm just going to just gonna show the Facebookers. Look, Let's see if that works. That's cool, isn't it? Go on, look at that. That's my little view. That's where I've been since five o'clock this morning. Just looking out at that, that's Dunmore East Harbour, right there. It's where the, ga the girls go sailing every day. It's cool, isn't it? I feel so lucky to be here. Right, let's, who's down here? Hold on, hold on. That's fantastic. Oh no, I've ordered some. Neat, it's one, two, three, Dusty Bin, Dusty Bin. If anyone remembers Dusty Bin, what a game show that was, by the way. Ted Rogers, three, two, one. Three, two, one, get in the, oh, I love it. Cool. All right, team, I'm gonna wrap it up there. I just wanted to pop on to cheer you on. I'll see if the house haven't waken up. I might do this again tomorrow and then that way I can do the Instagrammer and the YouTube and all that stuff at the same time. Jenny's on day 40 today. God, Jenny. Always wanted a dusty bin. I, that's my nemesis putting the bins out. But anyway, have a brilliant day all. If you enjoyed this, please share it in your groups, with your friends, let other people know I'm here every day, giving it some, cheering everyone on, and don't forget to go to andyrams.com to sign up to the newsletter and you'll get all the updates about all the courses that are coming up. See you everyone, I'll chat to you later on. Have a great day.